Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I took this regular choice roast and took it to the prime level. I used shallots, garlic, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. If you don't get that reference, don't worry, there's hope for you yet. I started by finely chopping my shallots. Now I always forget to light a candle first, but if you cut shallots or onions next to an open flame, it keeps you from crying so much. I don't know why, but it works. Give it a try. Once I had those chopped up the way that I wanted them, I put them in a bowl. And then into that bowl, I added some butter, some paprika, a little bit of coriander, and some turmeric powder. And then I added some extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper to taste. Now, I like to use freshly minced garlic, um, but if you don't have a garlic mincer or you don't want to mince it by hand, feel free to use the pre-minced garlic from the produce section. That's totally free. And then after that, I added a little bit of avocado oil. Then I patted all the sides of my roast completely dry with a paper towel, and then I seasoned all sides generously with some salt and pepper. Then I topped it with my herbs, and I just laid everything on the top, over the sides, just wherever I could fit them. And then I took my butter mixture and I put it on the sides and over the top and I made sure that all of the herbs were coated in that butter mixture as well. Then it's time to cover it with some foil. The box for my foil broke so I just kind of made a crease and it tore super easy. I'll probably cut it from like this from now on. So we'll cover this and leave it out on the counter to set for a few hours. And we're back with wine. I always cook with wine. Sometimes I put it in the food. Preheat your oven to 425. And I wish that I would have shown the roast going in the oven, but my minion sounded her alarm. So, oh well. This is what it looks like right now. I left the foil on top so that my herbs wouldn't burn in the oven and they would just soak into the meat. While that cooks, let's go outside and check on the guys. My son got a Red Rider BB gun for Christmas, so we started to tell him a little bit about gun safety. iPro is everything. Back inside to finish up dinner, I washed my green beans and set them on a paper towel. Once I had all of my green beans washed, I patted them dry uh, as much as I could anyway. And then I started trimming the ends and realized that I needed some help. Much better. Once I had those all chopped up, I put them into a pot with some butter, some salt, pepper, and dill. Lots of dill. And then I added a little bit of chicken stock uh, to help them steam, and then I put a lid. Oops, wrong lid. There you go. I gathered up all of my scraps, and I put them in a dish and set them aside to give to my chickens as snacks for later. Then I got my potatoes and washed them really well in the sink. I like to use the colorful potatoes because they just look prettier on the plate. I chopped those up into little bite-sized cubes, and then I put them in a pan. Oh, <laughs> my cutting board was moving everywhere, so life hack, put a wet washcloth underneath, and it keeps it stable. I don't know about you guys, but I always rinse my pan, so I made sure that it was nice and dry, and then I added some olive oil and let it heat up. Um, after the oil was heated, I put my potatoes in the pan, and then check out my cool ninja skills right here. But uh, they are fully cooked. They are nice and browned. You can't really see it, but it has a nice crispy texture. So I added some onion powder, some garlic powder, 
and some paprika. Mix that up and a little bit of butter and then finish it off with some salt and pepper to taste. Look at them, they look so delicious. Let's check in on our green beans. Oof, those look so good and they smell amazing. Now let's check on our prime rib. I put a little bit of chicken stock in the bottom to keep my butter from burning. And I checked my temperature. At this point, it was getting close to the 100 degree mark. So I scraped off all the herbs so that they wouldn't become cremated on the top and I could get a nice crispy crust. And then I put it back in the oven and brought the temperature up to about 140 degrees. Medium rare is 145, but I pulled it out just a little bit early um, because I knew that it would continue to cook. After it's set for a little while, it is time to cut into it. Gosh, I hope this turned out good. Oof, look at it. So delicious. You guys, and my family loved this. It was the perfect dinner for Christmas. After we plated that up, it was gone in no time. Thanks for watching.